Hey guys, so I am in Peaside with the lovely Lauren. Hi! I'm um, Lauren from uh, Nailed It Beauty. This is <laughs> Lauren's home salon. First, I think we should look at your salon before we find out anything about you. Let's just have a little tour. Let's just... Where should we go? Where, Where do you, you want to start? Well, we obviously have a little kitchenette. Very cute. I mean, it's, it was designed for clients to have nice coffees, but it's... It's mainly for here. Got to keep your energies um, up. We've obviously got my amazing rainbow wall. Love it. Of all of our gel bottle polishes. I've uh, got all of our micro glitters and some apra inks just at the end there. And then the top row is just crap, really. Um, well, that's my, definitely not crap up there. The one, this is my De scratch style of the world's gel polish style of the year, uh, trophy. Woo! And my award winning set of nails. Which I might be having on my <laughs> nails. Um, I've got some pictures here from when we were at Nailed Up North. Love it. And um, down there, and then gift vouchers and business cards. So how do you store these? These are Ikea shelves? Yeah. So I these think I've got the, these in my side. Ikea. They're just picture ledges. Yeah. And you store your gel bottles on the side. They are normally the other way, but I've got that many of them now. And I've run out of room. determined that there is no more shelves going on this wall. We've had to put them all on the sides now, so that I've got a little bit more space, but it's not You could do two tiers per sh shelf um, maybe no on the top shelf but you can't really do it on the back shelf because you can't get them out without looking oh that's true well the stuff maybe you could put the it. glitters in a drawer yeah the glitters are probably gonna end up going we we'll probably have to say bye bye to magpie yeah but i just like my rainbow one. yeah i mean it does look pretty magical all these rainbow glitters that or they'll have to get shelves maybe over there yeah some little Just shelves there. oh hi and yeah. this is the <laughs> table where your clients oh. sit where the magic happens. Where the magic happens. Should we look in your drawers? I want to see in your drawers. Okay, let's go in the drawers. I am pretty organised. So, <gasps> oh. so top drawer is replacement files, colour swatches and my willow drawer. So I have my e-file e bits. bits. And lash. Yeah. Russian bits. Oh. Sanding bands. All in the top oh, drawer. Good stuff. Okay, the next drawer is nail art accessories. So we've got dried flowers, we've got little gems, uh, little metal rivets, we've got magpie neon pigments, the magpie stars, magnetic polishes, we've got some nail art gels, some more sticky accessories, and then I bought all of this fruit. <laughs> we've got a lot of fruit. So there was a trend last year of fruit and everyone was doing them, so I was like, right, gonna be on trend, buy all the so fruit. Much fruit. And no one asked for it. <laughs> so I've never actually used any of them. So they were a great waste of money, but we have them now, hey ho. Cute little storage pot. Cute. Okay, next drawer. So these are uh, my backup builders and replacement bottles of uh, base coats and top coats, cuticle oils, gel pots, acrylic paints. And what do you store them in? Like, where do you get all the, your storage pots? Because it's very so, neat, very tidy. They are perfect. They are the Wham Studio boxes. Um, I personally get mine from Dunelm. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure you can get them from the range and all sorts. Yeah. They're literally like a pound, two pound a box. Next drawer, this is like a bit of a crap drawer. So we've got my Apre tips set. Awesome. And then we've just got like tips for nail art practicing, uh, ring pop tips, um, boxes of nails that I've done tutorials oh, on wow. previously. Oh, cute. So we keep them on here. Those little pots are quite cute. Oh, they're so handy. On. Them ones are from Hobbycraft. Bottom drawer is replacement foil, pads, wipes, everything you need. Everything you could ever need. Moving over to this side. Da -na 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 -na. We have got files in use, pads in use, tips. Bottle tops, brushes, see foil. Next drawer is stamping and foils. So we've got a lot of stamping plates here. More there, polishes. I don't stamp that much, so I don't have that much stamping polish. A draw of decals. Decals and stickers. Oh, stickers. very nice. More stamping plates. And then, obviously, everyone has the business card <gasps> box. Yeah. Full of foils. Obsessed. Then we'll go down again. We've got replacement tips to fill the boxes. I don't know what you'd call these. They're yeah. the sheets that go over the top of the dust extractor. Masks, acrylic powder for when we do like cable knit nails and replacement navy. Uh, towel. 
bottom door. I like, I like this drawer. So this is the emergency drawer. <laughs> When you've worked over your dinner break and you're running behind, <laughs> so I've always got an emergency stash of chocolate. And you've got a nice cart here. Is this, I recognise it, Alex, um, not Alex drawers. No, From Ikea? It's not, it's the Hobbycraft one because it's oh, actually cheaper. Is it? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So the Hobbycraft ones, I think, are £25. That's pretty good. Yeah. And they're exactly like the yeah. identical to the IKEA ones. Because the IKEA ones, I think, are around 35 Yeah, they've reduced 40? them to 39 now, but they were oh, 50. Um, that's ridiculous. So they're 25 pounds. They're the exact same? They're exactly the same. They come in more, like a lot more colours than the IKEA ones. Oh, wow. They do rose gold, which <gasps> is never, ever in stock, but it's beautiful. But here I just keep all of my Nav Stuff cuticle oils, the ones that are retail and the ones that I use, like, the testers of after every client. Yep. I keep my navy wipes, my acetone, hand sanitizer, and then all of these bottles of gel are all gel bottles that are practically empty and I ran out. So they all go onto the top and then eventually I will decanter them all. If I know I've only got one nail to do in builder, yeah. I'll just scrape it out. Yeah. And then we keep our couch wall on here. We've got some tools and files under here. A towel on the bottom as well, and that's when I do pedicure. So then I'll take the trolley with me over, over there. To let's just introduce Liana again. You guys will have seen Liana before, and she's also currently puppy sitting. Puppy sitting. Oh, that's a sleepy. F He's very sleepy. So yeah, Liana's here too with, my baby. with your baby. <laughs> this is your fur baby. It is my fur baby. Yeah, uh, so cute. So the, this is the pedicure. This is where I do pedicure. So my client would obviously sit on the chair with Liana, and I would sit on the footstool and just pop a leg up. Oh, okay. At the minute though, it's not really a pedicure chair because somebody has taxed the chair. Oh. So, <laughs> whenever I'm at work, something. somebody <laughs> likes to sit on the chair now and watch his mummy do his work. So. <laughs> um, over here I've got my brow chair. Do you do lots of brows? No, I don't do brows anymore at all. <laughs> so okay. I spent a ridiculous amount of money in a chair to start doing brows to so then six months later on. I don't like my brows. It's a nice chair though. It's a Chloe style of chair, which I think a lot of people have got because they're brilliant. They just lay backwards. Yeah. So it's easy enough to do. But I still do some like lash lifts, which is why we've still got the chair. Yeah. Cute Good little brows. display. A hell of a lot more. Naf stuff oils. Naf stuff oils. That that is that is full to the brim. And we had two of these not that long ago, but obviously Christmas has been so all of you chocolate orange and cinnamon apple, cinnamon apple and gingerbread. The majority of them sold out, so this is all we've got left. Blimey, that's still well, a lot. They are well loved in here. So shall we take a tour <clears throat> of the top of your thing? I feel like I'm gonna have a seat. I'm gonna sit where the client sits. Okay. Let's see what's on top. On top, I like to keep my uh, my desk quite minimal. I'm gonna keep my navy stuff on one side. Yeah. E file to the other. At the minute, I don't want my e file here because I'm not lefty, but the cable gets in my way. This is my new Siang. Is it a K35? It is indeed. It is. I have got this one as well. This is from Willow Academy from Lucy. Oh, it's nice lovely. Day. I've got my gel bottle ink, like the way a lamp. This pot is like used brushes. Some I use more than others, or some of them are like, like these ones are new brushes that I've bought to try that I've never tried out yet. Oh, where are they from? They're Amazon. <gasps> so they're from Amazon. But they like look really six good. Six quid for three. Wow. But I haven't tried them yet. Oh, they might be very mm. nice. So these are just like either ready new to, test to test out, or brushes that I've bought and then don't really like. Yeah. Still there or. Like messy brushes like a mag pot. Yeah, glitter brushes, <clears throat> all that good stuff. And then this is my tub of used stuff all the time. So this is my old trusty favourite, but it is about to <gasps> die. I've cut oh that my many hairs off that there's not it's a so, lot It's so, I can't even pick it up. It's so fine. There's nothing left. Yes. And then all of my new favourites are all my gel bottle brushes. Lovely. I've got them in liner, one stroke, detail, and round gel brush. Very sleek. And then dot and tilt, because everybody needs dot and tilt. Yeah. And then daft things like I've got my little spatulas. spatulas just to scrape everything out of the rest of the bottle. Yeah. Normal scrapers and pushers, a little bit of scissors, and some tweezers. I also keep like a few pads on the desk. My essentials, my base coat, top coat, cute oil. But that's about it, because then by the end of the day, this is oh, covered. Oh, oh, what's in here? So because we knew Izzy was coming, I might have stayed up till about 11 o'clock <laughs> something new <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, you can even see your reflection in it. This is my new Zephros desk fitted mounted extractor fan. Oh, which if we turn it on. <gasps> It sounds powerful. But nice. 
and it's flush mount, so it's so like so nice, so super flat. sleek. And that's where you put the filter on top that we showed you in the drawer earlier, the blue thing. And then I can just cover it back up and pretend it never happened and doesn't exist. This is it. This is the salon. It's, it's a beautiful really? salon, I must must say. And then your clients come through that door over there. Yes. So then they can come straight in, ready for a beautiful <laughs> set of nails. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to do the Q&A section. So are you ready, Lauren? Okay, let's deal with this. <laughs> so we're going to start off with some slightly longer questions. Let's just have a chat, casual chat. And then we'll do a quick fire round. You do. So, how and why did you get into the nail industry? Like, what's your story? What's how did you get here? So I was about fourteen, maybe, and I was just at a friend's house, and she had spotty nails. So they were just nail that, and it they looked horrendous. But they were spotty, and I was like, "How did you do that?" And she was like, "I just use a pencil." And I was like, "What?" So she like was licking, like lifting the lid out of the nail varnish, dipping a pencil in and drawing spots on with a pencil. So I was like, well, this is interesting. I painted her nail and I do a stick man with a pencil. And then it went from there and I was like, mama wants some more nail varnishes. And then we bought some of them. Um, do you remember the ones you used to get? And they were like a squeezy little bottle and they had like a- A little pen on the end. Yeah, a little pen oh on my the gosh, end yeah. and a little, little spiky metal bit. So then I bought some of them and we just, oh I used to do yeah. nail art things with those. But then I wanted to go to college and do beauty and my mum mm. and dad were just like, no. Absolutely not. They're like, there's no money in the industry. If there's a recession, everyone will stop getting their hair and nails done. Like, it's just not a good job. And I was like, oh, right. Okay, okay then. Fair enough. So then I went and did childcare instead at college and was going to be a primary school teacher. Oh my god. That was my next backup plan is, yep, I'm going to teach kids. So I did the childcare route because you've got to do placement work in schools. Yeah. Went to the schools and was like, I don't like kids. Yeah. They are not nice. <laughs> you cannot shout at children that are not your own. <laughs> so, I mean, I finished the course and I got my qualification and stuff just as a backup. And then yeah. in the meantime, I was like, look, I want to do nails. I'm going to just do like a little, you know, like a private course. So I went and trained with salon yeah. services and did manicure, pedicure, gel polish, hard gel extensions and acrylic in like a week. I learned all Insane. of that. Yep. Yeah. Then you get six weeks practice, go back and then I was qualified. And that was just going to be a weekend thing until yeah. I knew what I wanted to do in my life, where I wanted to go, what I wanted to retrain in. And it just took off so massively. And I don't think even I expected it to yeah. happen as quickly as it did. Like, yeah. I get messages all the time, people are like, so how did you build up your client base? I need tips. And I'm like, I can kind of tell you, but I also yeah. don't know myself. It just Blinked. it just happened. Yeah. And then, yeah, I've been working for myself ever since. So seven years in two weeks' time. Seven years been... two weeks. Oh, it'll be yes. your birthday! Well, my birthday! Business birthday. Yeah. Oh, seven years. It's a long time. That is, yeah. I don't know where seven years went. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Top five products or equipment you could not live without if you were moving to a desert island and you could only take five things. Just to do nails with. Yeah, five things. You just, I mean, obviously you would need more things to do a set of nails, but what are the five things you really couldn't live without? E-file? Yeah. Oh, oh. But our bits included in the e-file. Oh. And we allowed that as a package deal. Yeah, I would say that. Okay, okay. yeah. So the e-file with the bits. Included. Willow bits, of course. Mm -hmm. An actual nail file. Yeah, yeah, because you yeah, Snags otherwise... or to have shaped them, yeah. Yeah. So, e-file, actual nail file, teddy builder in a bottle. From the gel bottling. Extreme shine top coat from gel bottling. So that's four, isn't it? Yeah, One four. more thing. One more. And a naft of cuticle oil. You could probably, well, almost. You wouldn't be able to cure the gel, but you could almost oh, do a set No, of... if we're going to a desert <laughs> island, though, the, <laughs> the sun is the UV. Sun. Okay. What I'd have to do is we'd have to go under a shade of a bush or a tree, paint, then run out into the sun, <laughs> stand for a good three hours <laughs> to, to cure, cure the nails. gels. I'll just stand like this between coats. <laughs> get a good sun tan. Exactly. Yeah, get a nice tan as well. Yeah. Don't look at the questions. So what are your goals and what would you like to achieve within the next year? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Saying this now, but it's not out yet, but it will be by March. Because we're filming this in the 25th of January. 25th of January. So next week, I am announcing my YouTube channel. Ah, that is joining going. the YouTube crew. <laughs> so exciting. Because I don't have enough stress or enough things going on in my life. Yeah, so I didn't need to add something else. I will link Lauren's in account in the, the description YouTube. box down below. So go follow. So I have videos written down that I've got planned out that I'd like to do ready for YouTube Sweet. and I've just got stuff filling up basically. I've already put some stuff on there so there's just tutorials and stuff that I've already done for yeah. IGTV. I've just been a bought a new fancy camera and ready to go. So exciting. So I have just hit just over 26,000 followers on Instagram 
by the end of 2020, I would at least like it to be 50k. 50k by end of 2020. Least. You've heard it here. This is kept record. This has put it out into the world. Oh, that's pressure. The world knows. Mm. 50k. It will happen. It will happen. We got It'll this. Happen. I'll buy. Fo no, we won't buy followers. No, we'll buy followers. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I've just been asked to join the gel bottle brand ambassador family. Mm -hmm. Somebody is the new gel bottle link ambassador. Hey. So that's a massive achievement. Yeah. Achievement. That's huge. I wasn't expecting that at all. So. Uh, I think everyone else was expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're incredible and you deserve to be a gel bottle ambassador. Thanks. Um, so by the end of the year, I would like to have done a few things with Gel Bottle. So I know that yeah. Gel Bottle regularly do London Fashion Week yeah. and they host other events. And mm -hmm. at this year, they've also been doing Dancing on Ice. Oh, cool. So I would love to get involved in something like yeah. that just so that I can just see a different work environment, try mm -hmm. something new other than these four walls that I've got now. Yeah. In February, I am going to NAF Salon in Glasgow. Yeah. yeah. To do my first guest spot in NAF salon. That'll be fun. So that'll be my first proper like salon experience. Yeah. I think there's 12 girls that work there. 12. So it is an amazingly big, busy salon. So that'll be nice to experience. Yeah. Uh, we are also going to redecorate and completely change this place. This place because I'm bored of it. Oh I love gosh. it, but yeah. sitting in the same room for the last two years. But I do love it, but for me, I just switch up a bit. It just needs a change. Yeah. By the end of the year. I would have liked to have got my teaching qualifications so that I could officially teach nail things. Oh, that's exciting. We've got a um, joint goal for the year. Yeah. We've got a joint Ooh, goal for the year. Oh, do we? Yeah, I've paid for the course and everything. Oh, have you already booked it? I've booked and paid for it last year, yeah. Mm. But I couldn't, I couldn't, brain couldn't function in December to even start it. I've looked into it loads and I've, it's something I really, really want to do. Good well, goals. Good goals. It's good, good to have goals. Spit it out, is he? <laughs> so yeah, summarise the goals. 50k. Yep. Potentially do my teaching qualification. Be qualified by the end of the year. Hopefully. Yeah. See if I can try out like some session stylist nail teching. Nice. Is that what it is? Yeah. It is, yeah. Session tech, yeah. Oh, and YouTube, YouTube. See yeah. if I can start a YouTube channel and crack the YouTube world. Work yeah. out how the hell to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are, they are some big goals. I reckon oh. you're going to do them all. What do you think is one of the biggest problems we face in the industry right now? That's serious. <clears throat> I got asked this question on my Scratch Stars question. Yeah. So you did your competition set of nails and you had to go sit with a lot of judges and they asked you five questions and mm -hmm. this is one of the ones I got asked. And the answer I gave, I think one of the biggest problems in the industry at the minute is big, reputable, well-known, trusted brands yeah. Selling products that don't seem to match their standards or being sold as else something else. Interesting. That yeah. That's what I think is one of the biggest issues right now. Interesting. This has been an interesting and very controversial question. Everyone's answers <coughs> so far has been quite different. Has it? Yeah, which is really interesting because I mm. thought get quite a lot of similar yeah. answers. But so far, they've all been different. I think there's probably a lot of problems but everyone has like their own relatable issue to, yeah, issue to one of how them. it affected them yeah. and what, yeah. There's problems in every industry and there's problems in every job, but it yeah. just depends on what you've taken from them or yeah. what experiences yeah. you've had with them. Yeah. Okay, who inspires you the most and why? <gasps> That could literally be, it could be a few people, it could be nail related, it could be business person related, it could be your mum, it could be, it doesn't have to be specifically like another nail tech right. in terms of a spirit, it's inspiring nail art, it could be someone that inspires you, ins <laughs> <laughs> inspires you in business, in, in yeah. Genius. In my head there I was like, don't pick a nail tech, but no, I think that is literally where like my heart and oh, yeah. love lies. Yeah. There's probably quite a few of them that... I think like there's, I've got quite a few girls who inspire me for different reasons. Mm -hmm. You would be one of them, but you're not like you do totally different stuff to me. You do like your nails in general are totally different to mine, so I love them. But that's not that's not the style of nails yeah. that I would do if we yeah. looked at both each of our profiles. Yeah. The YouTube thing inspires me. Like I love it. Uh, We've just, like I've said, I've been sat trolling through your YouTube, like <laughs> looking and stuff like that. But then we've got Sophie Dill which is mm -hmm. Nancy Loves Nails. She's the craziest chick I've ever met. About. Like, she's so lovely, but she's also so ballsy, and I just love her attitude. Like, she's got no fear. Yeah. She'll just do it, and she's just so, like, with Nailed Up North, she's just so inspiring that she managed to do that herself and arrange it herself. And then we've got Amy. 
um, Beauty Works by Amy. Mm-hmm. She's doing so incredibly, amazingly well for herself without having to make a noise about herself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's just so talented yeah. and so good and... Doesn't need to shout about no, her. No, she doesn't because her talent speaks for herself yeah. and everyone loves her and knows who she is yeah. and so I love that side of her as well. Mm-hmm. As a business side of things, Tammy from NAF Salon. Yeah. My God, that girl is nail boss goals. Like, she is killing everything that she does. Yeah. She's oh, Every time you speak to her, every time I meet up with her or say it, there's just something new that she's got in the pipeline and she's always doing something. She's got a million and one things going on. And yeah. it's crazy when you meet, meet her, she's just so like humble and lovely and normal that you would think that she's got so much stuff going on in the background and like her own salon and yeah. NAF stuff, NAF school. Really she, training yeah. academy. Like when I think of all the stuff I've got to do, it's nothing compared to what she has to do. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to quit my job. Yeah. <laughs> can't do I it can't now. do it. Yeah. She is such so inspiring. Yeah, she she's is the, the nail boss. Yeah. Business like, even when you just talk to her about like actual business stuff, she can just fire it off like that yeah. and tell you everything. She I just, find that incredibly yeah. like motivational, yeah. inspiring. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna I yeah. wanna go home and do this now. Yeah. And she just knows everything there is to do with business. Yeah. She's brilliant now. Are you ready for the quick fire round? <gasps> dun dun dun! <laughs> Liana's getting excited in the background. Have you already seen all of these quick fire questions? Oh. <laughs> so quick fire round commencing now. So you'll get like um, questions like this or that. So you have to pick this or that. And it needs to be like speedy. We've got, got to keep the speed going. Or you'll get ones where you have to finish the sentence where I say da 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 da. And right. you finish the sentence. Or it will be a question and you just give, give me your answer super quick. Okay. Are you ready? I've got my laptop in front of me. You can't see the questions, no? Nope. So, pedicure or manicure? Manicure. You relax by? Uh, doggy cuddles. Doggy cuddles, her fair baby. Nail art or plain? Nail art. To be successful, you must? Work hard as hell. Learning or doing? Doing. Working hard or working smart? <sighs> I feel like you have to do both. Okay. Can't be one or the other. Okay. Yeah. Short nails or long nails? Long nails. Mm-hmm. Would you rather perfect something or finish it? Perfect it. Okay. Favourite nail shape? Almond. The hardest thing about starting a nail business? Building up a clientele. Your goal in life is to? Not have to work, but have my name above a salon door somewhere. One thing you wish you knew when you first started out that you know now? Work to your own times, don't work to whatever everyone else wants. Name three parts of the nail anatomy. Okay, so your epinicium, <laughs> hyphenicium, and your nail plate. Well, favourite nail colour? Oh, like black or d- just dark. Darkness. If you weren't doing what you're doing now, what would you be doing? I'd probably be somehow stuck in teaching, hating life. Favourite nail accounts to follow? Mm. Ooh, oh, um, hand jobs by Alison. She's brilliant. Oh, okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. The gaudy octopus, I think she's called. I've just started following. She's oh, I brilliant. love. She's my style, quite yeah. gothic. Yeah, I really um, like that. Mm. Oh, why can I not think of all the people that I love to follow? Anybody that is on my Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> Go and check out the Instagram followers list. Okay, stairs. Okay, stairs. What? <laughs> Stairs. Stairs. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you have received? This is a quick fire and I'm... Yeah. Ooh. Don't forget to just prep, like when you prep wipe across the top, yeah. you have underneath of your nails. And if you're gonna cap the free edge, you should be prepping underneath and wiping underneath too. Do oh, to make yeah. sure it is also prepped. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Hopefully to clean up dust easily. <laughs> if your nail studio was on fire, what two things would you run back in to get? Dougie, because he is always in here. Yeah. And... Oh, oh my tip jar. <laughs> Gonna have to buy another one. Late nights or early mornings? Late nights. What is one thing annoys you the most? People who pick up their phones midway through getting their nails done and put towel fluff over their sticky nails. Yeah, okay, yeah. I feel ya. Or if they've got a jumper, Yeah. and they're just like, <laughs> oh my head's itchy. Yeah. Don't do it. Take my <laughs> <laughs> Describe your 
describe yourself in three words? <laughs> Loud, uh, creative, and I think I'm funny, but I don't think other people think I'm as funny as I think I am. I think you're funny. If you could talk in your sleep, what would you say? I do talk in my sleep, actually. <laughs> but probably in my sleep, I'd be like, uh, put the phone down. <laughs> Back to the same problem. Yeah. <laughs> Relax your hands. Relax your hands. Yeah. If you could do any famous person's nails, dead or alive, who would it be? Mm. I don't I don't really like her, but I'd love to do a Cardi B set, I think. Yeah. She always has got Larry so nails. Wild Larry nails. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is one nail product that you've bought that you wish you hadn't? <laughs> I sat on the We're trying to get the draw. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All this goddamn female fruit. So you could do, like, there's a, over a hundred in there, surely. That's an what is that? <laughs> you could do hundreds of sets of nails. I could potentially make four cases and stick them in the back of that. Yes. New Just business. Side hustle. Clients are going to use them, so. Yeah, that is a lot. A Waste lot. of money. A lot of stuff. Hand file or e-file? E-file. Make a weird noise. <laughs> that wasn't the that noise! Was <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> was that your weird noise? I mean... Is that what you've entered into this section? Natural nails or extensions? Natural nails. What is the worst set of nails you've ever done and why? Mm, the first set of flames I ever did. And this girl is still my oh, client no. and I love you so much, so thank you for staying <laughs> client. That's commitment. They weren't flames. They're like... I don't know how to explain the look like they, they, were, they were awful. They were supposed to be like a bright yellow flame outlined with red and orange and they were just they were fat flames. Lovely. Not, not good. Nice. Okay. On a scale between one to ten, how cool are you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a five. Twelve hours back to back of clients or two days of gappy spread out clients? Twelve hours back to back. What nail art is your favourite to do? Anything probably spacey. Galaxy type, just something random. To do with space. Mm. And I'm gonna have space nails. Oh, oh, what have you done in your nail career that you're most proud of? Hmm, it now goes between two things. Two things. Winning my Scratch Stars Award and being asked to be a gel bottle ambassador. Yeah, mm. both pretty awesome. Gold or silver? Gold. What was the last post you saved on Instagram? Uh, I think they were cow print. Oh, yeah. There we oh. go. Nice. I mm. like them. I like them. Yeah. So who are they by? I think you would pronounce it Safi Nail Studio. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, Safi Nail Studio. Really nice. Damn, they are nice. Yeah, nice. I want to follow. S-A-F-I, then Nail Studio. Oh, yeah. Where were you two years ago in the nail industry? Two years ago, I was ooh, five days away from opening my home salon. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So I was working mental hours whilst packing up everything I had work-wise in boxes and painting about 200 <laughs> of these things because you don't have them on your mobile. So. Yeah. I so you went from being mobile to Yeah, so I spent five stuff. years mobile and on the 30th of January, two years ago, I went home pissed. Oh, that was nice, you know? It was amazing. Leader or follower? Mm, follower, probably. What motivates you? The future. What do you think of when I say fruit? Them goddamn things that are in my drawer! <laughs> <laughs> Those female slices! <laughs> That trend that none of my clients ever wanted. What annoys you the most about social media? The need to be on it all the time. What do you love most about social media? It's taken my business to where it is. Now, yeah. Yeah. Without looking at a clock, what time is it? Mm, I don't know, maybe half four? Mm. Damn it. <laughs> 20 past five. Yeah. 90 minutes past five. That's how I work my days by. Spots or stripes? Stripes. Nail art, up for a challenge or play it safe? Mm, up for a challenge. Okay, final quick fire question. If you could say something to yourself for five years time to look back on to this moment right now, what would it be? 
give yourself a little message for five years time or a year's time even. <laughs> Take dinner breaks every day. Not just twice a week, every day. <laughs> so that's the end of the quick fire round. You did really well. It was... I mean, I don't think it felt like it went that well, but... No, it did. It was interesting. I gave answers. <laughs> yeah, I gave very good answers. So we are going to do my nails now. Only one hand, the right hand. Yes. Um, they're definitely not looking fine, so good luck with them. They're a bit mismatched and a bit wonky and a bit... <laughs> bit of a mess. So cute though. So you can try and fix them. Do you want them to keep them this length? Oh uh, yeah, you can yeah. keep the length and just okay. do what you want with the shape. Oh, do, do, your your thing. Thing. do your thing! Do your thing! Do your thing! days a week do you work? Well, how many clients have a day? Uh, on average. So one week I work four days, one week I work five days. Um, do you alternate? Yeah, so the way I used to work last year is I used to take every other Monday off work and every other Saturday off work. Um, but I used to do it in a way that I would get Saturday, Sunday, Monday off together every oh, other week nice. so that I'd have like a full long weekend. Um, but I've actually dropped Mondays this year because you just can't do anything on a weekend. All the shops are too busy yeah. and no one wants to go. So yeah, I've dropped Mondays now. So I do five days one week, four days the next. Um, I work 10 till seven or 10 till eight every day. And I do, I reckon I do about 10 clients a day. But it depends obviously if I've got someone in for extensions or something that's a longer appointment. Yeah. So yeah. About 10. How much time do you schedule for a client? For just like a gel appointment with nail art and stuff, an hour automatically goes in. Um, with builder and a bottle overlay or infill, it's an extra half an hour, so an hour and a half. If someone was coming at me with no removal and just wants like nails, even with nail art, it's about half an hour, 40 minutes. And do you book yourself a break, a lunch break? I do now, consciously I have been since we got the dog. Because obviously yeah. with Dougie, he needs walking, he needs attention in the afternoon, yeah. he needs feeding. Before then, not, what I used to do is I used to open my online booking to the clients, let them all start booking and I'd go through and as I was going through to confirm their appointments, I'd sort of see how my day was playing out and pick yeah. where I'd have a dinner gap. break, how long I'd have a dinner break, whether it be just half an hour, yeah. 20 minutes or whatever. But obviously now we've got him, I've worked out that yeah. I get a dinner break so that it's when he needs feeding and when he needs to yeah. go for a walk. So. I think that's when I got Beatrice, it helped me to Ooh. book myself a lunch. I now, I now actually give myself at least a full hour, yeah. apart from at Christmas if it's crazy then I'll have half an hour, but I give myself at least a full hour, yeah. so I've got half an hour to take Beatrice out, walk her, get yeah. home, eat before my next client arrives, hopefully not early, so yeah. I can still have the full hour. Well, that's what I've done, I've, I've put out an hour so that he can be walked, fed. I think it's good to stretch the back yeah. out as well. It definitely, like, I've noticed a massive difference since I started just going out for a quick, like, walk. Because you would never yeah. just go for a walk around the block no. in between clients because you'd think, no, I'll reply to yeah. this message and I'll do this and I'll do that, yeah. so... It makes a huge difference. So we've currently got a black base on my nails, which so looks absolutely amazing already. I kind of want to just keep it black, but I'm not having the galaxy nails. Look how glossy they are and beautiful shape. Well, let's have a look at the colors then. Okay, so let's the colors. And what we're going to do is the ones that we've put so close together where they're running, we're going to swirl them together to create like a marbled effect then pick it up as a marble bead to make the planet. So obviously you've got your green and your blue for planet Earth and then the rest of them, I literally just wing and make pretty colors. <laughs> Love it.
now flames. Rocket yes. flames. Little rocket flames. So cute. The detail that you are you adding. Them? I do. They look really cool. Yeah. They're Does it really feel weird to have something like this on your nails? Because obviously this is it's not your usual style, is it? I don't know. What would you say my style is? Yours is very like gemstony, geody. Do you know what I mean? I just uh, your nails always look like something. If you just smashed a rock apart, and they'd just be like something like amazing inside. inside. That's like what like your natural nails. Natural. Yeah. Know. Your nails always remind me of that. Something. Whereas my sort of style always reminds you of like cartoony stuff, like mm. stuff you would see on cartoons or in. You're so good at that. Yeah. You you I you know when you see a photo of your nails, I'm like Lauren. Yeah. But normally clients, if they bring me stuff like you do, mm. and I'm like, she's, she's amazing. But that sort of puts me on edge, that sort of style, because that's not my style. My yeah, style it's is different style. Like, yeah. like if someone brought me, I don't know, the dinosaurs or the like Toy Story, I'd be like, where do I start? Yeah. It would scare me. I'd try, yeah. but just, it would put me like, on edge, yeah. Everyone says, like, how do you know how to paint that character? And I just go, I you just, in my own head, I can dissect the layers. Break it down. So like the dinosaur ones I did the other day, I knew I had to draw all the outlines of all the dinosaurs first in white, so they were yeah. all white and then filled them in and went from there with yeah. that. See like how you say, oh you really like doing galaxy, like mm -hmm. this. I say I also like doing galaxy, but more like... Yours is a different type. Yeah, so it's everyone different has their galaxy. version of yeah. like how they like conceive something. To me, yeah. the other reason, the other way I would do galaxy would be a bit like the, no, the polished up Pinterest thing where you did the one oh, with yeah. the, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so oh, like this. sponging galaxy yeah. and I'd put little stars and dots and yeah. stuff over that, whereas yours is more like, yours looks like a proper picture of galaxy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. interesting. I, I love that. I love different people's styles. I find yeah. it really interesting. Do you choose what your clients have or do they like come in, do you have a bit of a mix? Do they come in with the ideas they want? I have some clients that come in and they go, right, bam got 10 pictures and I want this from this one, this from this one, this from yep. this one. You're like, oh, right, okay. And then I've got some clients who kind of come in and they go, oh, whatever. And it's yeah. either a client that you do, you can do whatever on you and go, right, they've got yeah. this idea and they're like, yep, go for it. Have you got a client that you go, oh, whatever. And I go, okay, what about this? And they're like, no. Yeah. Well, what about this? No. Yeah. Well, what about this? I don't really like that. And you're, oh, <laughs> so not so whatever. Not whatever then, what do you want? And they'll yeah. go, well, actually, I thought this. You go, just say that then. Yeah. In the first place. So I have got a mix of clients that either come with a mind totally made up or vice mm. versa. But I do have a lot of clients that do trust and they just go, yep, yeah, whatever, I trust whatever you do, go for it. Which... And do you like doing the same design twice? Or more than once? I like doing the same design twice with like a big period of time. Between the two, yeah. yeah. I don't like when I've done a design and then that week everyone comes and goes, you know that ones you do? Oh, I go, if you say them black and white spotty ones, I swear. And they're like, oh yeah, I was going to say those. I'll be like, no, I've done six of those this week. Yeah, <laughs> Please do something it. new. Yeah. But I like to do them maybe spaced out because then you can yeah. sometimes see like, right, well, how you changed it up or yeah. how you've improved since the last time you did Because mm -hmm. every time you do a set of nails, they'll never look identical. You'll yeah. always do something different. So yeah. I don't mind repeating them. I try and switch out. My clients come in and literally go, Oh, well, I saw this thing you did, but I know how much you hate doing the same design twice. Yeah. I'm like, it's fine. But. But, can we do it in a different colour, please? Like, yeah, different colours. Like, switch like, up a bit. Yeah, sometimes it can look completely different in a yeah. different colour. So you said you are a couple of weeks behind in posting. Yes. I am currently three months behind in posting now oh. photos. I am posting photos back from October. Okay, I'm not that far um, behind. So do you not post on the day then? Do you like kind no. of backlog it so you've got some to choose from? I like backlog them, but also the majority of the time, by the time you finish work, I'm like, the last thing I want to yeah. do now, because it's not even just like when people go, oh, is it because you've got to edit photos? No, it's because I've took 27 photos of yeah. the same set of nails and I've got to sit and meticulously go through. Choose which one. Every perfect. single one, I go back to forward and go, no, I'll delete that one. Then back and forward to the next one, delete <laughs> yes. that one. Like, <laughs> is it? It's like... Yeah. <clears throat> then you've got to yeah. crop them down. If not crop them down, you've also got to change the angle so the nails fit better into the square. Yeah. And... Do you do all of that on, in, on like before you even put them on Instagram? So I go through my foot, so I go through my camera roll and I'll go through and then pick the one I want. Mm. Pick the one I want, crop it on my camera roll and mm. tilt it on my camera roll. Yeah, I do the same. Go on to Snapseed, mm. brighten Snapseed, it, yeah. but only so much. Then put the brightened one on Facetune and use the teeth whitening option to then whiten that area and also whitens the um, shadow. the shadow bit without leaving lines because you've already whitened it on Snapseed. Never thought of that. Then use the smoothing tool to smooth oh the skin. Oh my god, Lauren, that is so in my window. Because there's nothing I hate more than lines oh, yeah, in yeah, people's yeah. hands and hairs. So smooth the skin. Do you do so much? And use the detailer button to just quickly flick over the nails so that the nails are the more shot. detailed than the picture. And then I put it on that preview app 
where you upload all your photos on oh, it yeah. shows you what your grid looks like. Yeah. Uh, and there's a filter on there that is for portraits. So I put that on oh, and then gosh. turn it all the way, like turn the saturation down on it. Because at first when you put it on, it's like bright. But if you turn it down, it just makes everyone have like a healthy glow. I also need process. a photo taking and we yeah. want to we want to see how you take your photos. This is like yeah. interesting. So the nails are done and now we're going to take some photos. I nearly finished my experience. Oh, I used an A3 sketch pad, but A2, man, that's... The A3 I always had a corner where there was some yes. sort of towel showing and it drove me mad. So why not? You know. So freaking. I spent... I tried to find an A2 sketch pad. £25. £25. £25 <laughs> on an Ace 2 sketch pad from Hobbycraft. Because <laughs> I went in, I went to the woman, I was like, where's the biggest and whitest sketch pad you have? She showed me and I was like, oh yeah, okay, great. Went to the till, she's like, £25, please. And I was like, ah, £25. I can't, I can't tell you to take it back, but okay. <laughs> I will have it. But it's been worth it, so I put your hand like this. Oh, the lights come down really close. Oh, you can see in this one. Oh, you guys can see. Cute. Lights come down really close. I always do a video first because it's just quick and easy to upload a video straight to yep. Instagram. Thank you so much for being part of Isabel Marie Nails on tour and being, yeah, such an amazing... Thank you for coming and being such a nice hand model. Thank you so much for my fresh nails. I literally am obsessed with them and I'm never going to want to take them off. <laughs> Look at them! Obsessed. So pretty. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed, Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and go follow Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and go follow Lauren's channel. And yeah, I'll see you in my next episode of Isabel May Nails on Tour. And yes, goodbye. See you later. Bye.